Hey lovers, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I'm Jasmine Diaz, celebrity matchmaker, your favorite matchmaker here on YouTube. Today I'm gonna to be talking through some of the best times to date, times of year to date. Did you know that the time of year may determine whether your dating pool is flowing like the ocean or as dry as the desert? I guess you, I bet you you didn't know that. So I'm going to walk you through um, a couple of times of years, seasons, I guess you could say, that I have found to be the best times for dating. Um, if this is your first time on this channel, you might have missed some previous videos where I talk about the best and the worst. So it's becoming a little bit of like a thing here where I talk about like, for example, the best um, cities for dating and the worst, as well as the best dating apps for black singles. And this is kind of following along that series of being the best seasons, best times of year for dating. So uh, pull up a seat. Um, this is going to be a little bit of a shorter video than my previous videos, but I feel as though this is something that might actually help you if you are dating um, during a certain time of year and feeling like, damn it, I'm not getting any options here. I can tell you that this is probably playing a little bit of a part to why that is. So you might be asking, like Jasmine, how do you even know about this? Like nobody talks about this anywhere. I haven't seen it on any YouTube channels, any articles or anything like that. I'm gonna tell you why. Um, as a professional matchmaker, I have recognized that there are times where business is flowing and then there are times when it is not. So we consider these as matchmakers to be seasons. And there are some seasons where it is flowing, meaning there are not just business flowing, but there are times when singles are actively looking like they are available. They are on the hunt, they are serious, they are determined. And then there are times when it's like difficult as hell trying to find a single person. And uh, it's just part of, it's just part of it. It's just part of the dating process. I'm almost feeling like I'm giving you a little bit of a secret to why some people struggle uh, more than others. Others, and time of year is definitely one of it. So, uh, so let's jump in. Let's talk about what times of year are ideal and which times are less than ideal. So the most ideal time of year, in my view, might actually not seem surprising to most of you um, because it just seems to make sense, which is the top of the year, January, February, March. Those are gonna be the times of year where a lot of people are thinking about love, thinking about relationships, thinking about changing their dating prospects, right? Many of us come out of December with like renewed hope and inspiration, like, yeah, I'm gonna find me a man, right? We're all, we're all about that life at the top of the year. But you might notice that sometime during the, the latter part of the year, that energy tends to go away. Well, that is because the top of the year, January, February, March, are the times when most people have that in mind. They're really thinking about um, being in relationships, connecting with new people, having new experiences. This is the time of year. Now, that is not to say that there are not other times of year that where people are actively looking. Um, it just means that this is the more popular time to be looking. So if you are on a dating app, or if you're trying to meet people in real life, you might notice that there are more people on apps at the top of the year than they are later on. You might actually have better options or choices to choose from at the beginning of the year as opposed to later. Now, another popular time um, is slightly controversial depending on who you ask. I feel as though that the end of the year might be good and bad, and here is why. If we think about um, the time of the year, the fall, when most people are highly considering their relationship statuses, that's usually around November and December, right? Maybe a little bit of October, depending. Um, but Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's are the times when we're really thinking about, do I like this person? Do I wanna bring them home to mom? Do I really wanna be in a relationship with this person again next year? Maybe not. Those are some of the questions that we're asking ourselves at the end of the year. But here is why I think the end of the year is a, con 
I guess you could say a good time to be thinking. A lot of people are breaking up during that time of year. And so you have new options to choose from at the end of the year where people were in relationships before, right? They were in relationships probably in the beginning or excuse me, the middle of the year through the summer, right? Boot up with somebody trying to see how things are going and then realizing mm, maybe not for me more more options just come to to the table at the end of the year so i feel as though that the beginning of the year january february march are good times um but i also want to put an asterisk to the end of the year as well so even though i said the end of the year might bring forth new people through the dating pool um, who are back on the dating market i find that more times than not people during christmas and new years are unavailable so it's harder to get people to show up on dates harder to get people to like respond to messages because right we have family obligations we're doing things we're connecting we're just living our personal lives so it's it, it's an asterisk i said you know good time potentially and not so great time but another time of the year uh, that i think is probably going to be considered my third best time of the year is during the summer. So if you are someone who's kind of in that, mm, I'm trying to get ready for my hot girl, hot boy summer, and you wanna be fit and you wanna look good and you wanna be available, this is another time where you might see an uptick of singles on the market looking, trying to be in a relationship. So again, there are pockets when um, pe people dating, you know, is flowing. I said January through February, or excuse me, January, February, March, but then you have May and June that are mm, not so well. And then July, August, maybe a little bit of September that's doing okay. And then what do we have? September, October, November, December. So you can see that there are some areas. Please let me know if I'm losing you. There are areas that are that are great for dating, great for options, great for connecting with people. And then there are drier seasons. So when you think about like, what am I looking for in a partner? And where am I located and the proximity to the types of people that I'm looking for? Also consider the time of the year that you are looking as well and whether or not that's playing a part in the option availability for you. And if you are somewhere in the middle, uh, say you're somewhere in May and it's, you know, you're in a city where your options are just not that great, then you should start considering, do I need to, can't talk. Do I either need to date outside of my area do I need to maybe expand the specifics of what I'm looking for in a partner? Because that's a really important piece too. Or maybe I just need to wait. Maybe I need to wait a month or two to have more people available in my area that are actively looking. Because again, this plays a very large part in whether people are successful in relationships or not. So do you feel as though that you have had dating success or more success in dating um, during certain times of the year. And if you do, drop a comment below. I wanna hear from you, like what you think, if you feel like there's sometimes where you are doing the best, you're living your best dating life and other times where you are not. Yes. So thank you so much for tuning in guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope I didn't lose any of you along the way. I did this video a couple times um, because I was kind of losing my train of thought. So if I lost some of you, I apologize but I'm happy to clarify in the comments.